she working? Type tippity tippity tippity. Tippity 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 tippity. That's unfortunate. <laughs> hey, so it's Mike in the film lab on the substream.com. This is an episode of the Gear Guy that we're making in conjunction with the super cool people at White Interactive who have helped us out by letting us get our hands over the past couple of months on some really cool actual filmmaking gear. The same stuff that the, the professionals use. And last week we were talking in the film lab about what it's like to shoot movies with these DSLRs, which nobody did before somebody noticed that these cameras, these digital still cameras, have pretty good sensors in them that can shoot pretty good looking video. But there's one big drawback, and that's the fact that these cameras were ergonomically designed for shooting stills. Cameras look more or less now the way they've looked for a hundred years, because they're still designed to be mounted on tripods to take individual still pictures, which means that when you try to shoot video, because of the way they're designed, they're inherently unstable, and your footage goes flibbity flabbity flobbity flubity. That's because of the issue of mechanical advantage, or in this case, a disadvantage. If you look at the way this camera is designed, this is a sh short, small lens. It's a prime lens. It doesn't even have that much glass in it, so it's not that heavy either. But basically, your sensor is sitting in the camera body somewhere about here. And every still camera is designed so that the lens projects out in front of that sensor, which means that all of the weight, the glass in the front of this lens, for example, is at the end of a long lever that's working to destabilize the fulcrum which sits right underneath the sensor. And if you remember like grade eight physics, if you put a bunch of weight on the end of a long lever, it's really easy to move what's on the other end near the fulcrum. Thankfully, all of the people that have made their careers making really cool still camera equipment have figured out that there's a big market to help out DSLR using filmmakers. One of those companies is Manfrotto. They've invented this thing called a fig rig, which you can rent from the aforementioned really cool guys at White's Interactive. And what this thing basically is, is a really slick, really lightweight, really tough and well-made bit of mechanical advantage giving hardware. You stick your camera in the middle of it, like so. It slides in on a plate and locks in a position. We'll be doing another video right after this one about the specifics of how to set everything up. What you're basically doing is establishing a different relationship between your arms and the sensor in the camera. And no longer is that relationship the really crappy mechanical disadvantage one dominated by having a really long lens unbalancing the fulcrum. Now you're basically driving a bus. Have you ever seen a bus driver turn a bus wheel? You know how he has to turn the wheel like 50 times around to get the bus to go anywhere? That's because the size of the wheel is enormous. And when you have a big wheel, it takes big adjustments to represent small changes in the middle. That's a case of mechanical advantage actually making your footage much more smooth. Now, you're not gonna get straight up steady cam type stuff out of here. You're not gonna really be able to do shots of tracking behind a haunted kid riding his big wheel down the empty hallway of a haunted Colorado hotel. But you will, with a kind of minimal amount of effort, be able to shoot pretty cool 24 or The Office-ish kind of stuff. Stuff that looks handheld, but it's actually not, because if it was handheld, it would be way too jittery. When you get it from Whites, it also comes with this light up here, which is pretty gnarly too. This thing's super cool, and you can swoop around. It's really easy to use. It's almost impossible to mess up, but it's hard on your arms. You're gonna get strong using it. So check back, we're gonna be explaining what all the little bits and bobs of this thing are, some other bits and bobs that we don't have, but that are really cool, and how to basically put it all together and break it down when you get it out of the box from Whites. Goodbye. Swoopy goodbye.